Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at a product called NetBird. This is another overlay network type product. It does use WireGuard on the back end, so it's very similar to something like TailScale. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are on the NetBird website, and I want to jump right into the pricing real quick. So this is free for up to five users and 100 machines. And again, you get the same type of things on the back end that you get with TailScale, peer-to-peer -peer connection and encryption, SEO with Google Workplaces, Azure, and Okta, access controls, private DNS, network routes, and management activity logging. There also is a self-hosted version if that is something you're interested in. For our purposes today, we're going to go with the service through their website and we're going to get this set up. So if you go to try for free, you will be presented with a page where you can either sign in or you can sign up. And so I'm going to quick enter my credentials. All right, so I've entered my credentials for my new account and so we need to jump over and verify through an email link and i'm actually just going to grab my phone to do that welcome to netbird confirm email address and so we just say continue we'll say continue here time to add your first device so i'm going to go ahead and grab the installer for Mac OS, allow, and let's see what we've got here. That is the ARM64 version. Click that, continue, install, and we're gonna go ahead and get this installed. Background items added, keep that. You can manage this in login items, okay. So, Right here, wire trusty UG. And that's turned on, so that's good. So now up here in the menu bar, we've got the option to connect or go directly to the admin panel. Since we have connected our first device, we'll say reload. Let's see if that picks it up. And then we'll say connect there. Okay, authorize app, accept, login successful, close the window, see what we've got going on here now. And just like that, we've got the Mac Mini 2020 connected. And it's got an IP address in the 100.97.235 subnet. Okay, so if we say add peer, we want to do Linux and we can copy this command. Okay, we're going to go ahead and connect to our Ubuntu server. All right, and then we are going to paste in the curl command to grab the installer from netbird.io, and we're going to run that. And that goes ahead and downloads the necessary packages. Okay, so netbird did complete. So now we can jump back over here. And we need to do netbird up. All right. Uh, please do the SSO login in your browser. If your browser didn't open automatically, use this URL to log in. So this is a server machine, so we need to use the URL. I'll do copy, and I'll come over here, 
paste that into a browser window and we will confirm that machine. So now if we refresh over here, we do in fact have two machines set up. So we are going to ping from the Ubuntu machine. We're going to ping 100.97.235.228. And we get the response back like we'd expect. And from the Mac Mini, we can ping 100.97.170.77. And again, we're getting the response back that we'd expect. So if we do on the Mac, if config, pipe that into less, we're going to see on one of these, we will see a 100. So here's our main IP address. And if we come down here a little further, we should see right here 100.97.235.228. And likewise, on the Ubuntu server, we've got the local IP address. We've got zero tier, which I've already got on this. And then if we come down a little more, we should have 100.97.170.77. So that is working as expected. And so just for the sake of argument, if we say add peer, uh, you can see that this is supported on Linux, Windows, Mac OS, Android, and Docker. So that leaves out uh, BSD, which some of the others do support. So for instance, zero tier. And one of the reasons I still find zero tier compelling is because uh, you can get it on the Apple App Store, Google Play Store, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, you can get it on, I believe that's for Synology NAS, as well as BSD. I suppose there's an argument to be made uh, if you prefer the WireGuard protocol as the back end uh, versus the custom protocol that underpins zero tier, uh, you may find Tailscale or Netbird to be uh, more suited to your needs. Now, since on a personal basis, I jump around and use pretty much all of the listed operating systems except for iOS, I may use Netbird to complement Zero Tier to use it for specific use cases. Uh, but um, I will probably keep zero tier around until one of the other products gets support for BSD Unix. All right, just for the sake of argument, we're on the tail scale page now real quick. And I just wanted to show that other than Mac OS, if you count that as a BSD derivative, other than Mac OS, um, the support you get on Tailscale is the same as what you get on Netbird, uh, Mac OS, iOS, Windows, Linux, Android. And in fact, that may uh, actually, it actually has one additional because t uh, Netbird does not have iOS. So again, this is one of those situations where you want to examine your use case. Uh, are you an iOS user? If you're an iOS user, then you'll want to use either zero tier or tail scale. If you're an Android user, 
then you can use pretty much any of them. And if you're a BSD user, well, you're going to go towards zero tier if this is something you want to do. Unless there's an alternative out there that I have not yet discovered that does in fact support BSD. That has been a first look at NetBird. I will be doing some additional testing in the coming weeks and uh, see if I can do some comparisons between NetBird and Zero Tier, which I have been using for the last four or five years, and see if there's a really compelling reason to choose one over the other. Again, if your operating system is not supported by one, then your choices are going to be obvious. Uh, but if you are on the Android side of things and you use Linux, Windows, or Mac OS, you're basically uh, open to use any of the products that fit in this space. Uh, Tailscale, NetBird, or Zero Tier. And I'm sure there are some others out there that I have not yet tested out. All right. That does it for this video. If you haven't done so already, please go down below and like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.